Hey, look, Ty Sino is saying all you need is a 25 lay. All you need is a 55 three pointer. Break that down, you know, review some clips. We're going to see if this is true. You know, after the patches, if, if this is the new sauce. We got Mike Wang going into depth. He did not tweet, he went onto Reddit where the worst 2K players exist, and they probably defend him a lot, to speak about 2K instead of Twitter, right? And he goes into depth. He's blaming the community. We're gonna go over that and let's see what's really going on, the real truth. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest Okay, in existence and before we get into any of that y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new help me hit 280k.5 we're like 20 subscribers away and make sure you hit that goddamn like button help me get 200 likes within the first hour so the vid gets pushed to the algorithm help young swan grow so within this patch he goes into depth. He says, some shots were reporting wide open when they were supposed to be open. Defender nearby, but not contesting, okay? So in this regard right here, he's saying he nerfed the wide open to open. He made it a little tougher. But then he says, because wide open frequency went down a little, wide open windows were given a small buff in all modes except pro -am and anti -am. Now look, this is where I see a little uh, I don't know, Mike. I, I don't believe Mike Wayne, bro. I think he's just a capper. I don't know how y'all keep letting him get away with this. How many years are we in? When are we going to have enough of this dude? How can he keep getting away with this? He only tend to the game first couple months, goes on vacation, then start working on 25, my boy. How does he keep getting away with this? He has the perfect life. <laughs> Now look, the reason I think he added this except Pro-Am and Anti-Up is because those players are the ones that's really noticing everything, right? It doesn't make sense. Why exclude the Pro-Am and Anti-Up? Why? Like, really, really think about it, guys. Really think about it. Why? Those are the guys with the, the, the main, like, voice, right? why those modes really think about it guys every because because it's it's like they're trying to make a a war between the people so y'all so so all the casuals and negative win percents so they can be on the dev side you feel me that's why he's saying that right there why not just make it to where if you're wide open you get the buff right even in pro -M and anti up why not it's harder to get wide open in Pro-Am and Anti-Up. Why not give that buff there? Think about it, guys. Why only those modes? He's lying. <laughs> I pro- Bro. He's lying. Even in Park, people are missing nonstop, bro. Okay? I see people's- Bro, Badge Plug said he had an 81 three-point percent, went down all the way to 60-some. Everyone's three-point percent is dropping in Park, Wreck, everything so everyone's noticing it right? he's saying this to cause a war y'all know what they say they try to get the sides to fight so you can't see what's really going on and what's really going on is the game's broken the devs aren't talented enough or they don't have enough devs that's the real issue the game doesn't make sense the shooting doesn't make sense it's unpredictable you feel me but then he says deep threes were given a small buff for higher rated shooters and limitless range got a small boost as well then he says contrary to popular belief we never patch specific jump shot animations to make certain bases or releases more or less effective now i don't know too much about that i kind of believe this you know i've always kind of believed that statement but i think what happened i mean it it's it's very possible who knows but it's very like, I mean, but it's, it's, it's very possible, but I don't, I don't too much believe that, you know? There are way too many animation combinations to even attempt that if we wanted to, which we have zero interest in doing. Hey, I don't, hey, all I know is for sure, when something is very popular, y'all make sure the next year to make sure that y'all nerf that hoe or make it worse overall. So, I mean, in the... I don't know. People haven't tested it, like, but but you never know if they on the pan run. You know, no one's ever tested it. But when they test it after the year, you always see like very popular jump shots. They get nerfed, and y'all know that's a fact. So that basically tells you that they literally can if they want. You know, they make the green window smaller or they make it slower. 
So, you know, then it's not as good as the other jump shots. They definitely do that because they don't want people to use the same jump shots every year. That's a fact. So that could be happening. But, you know, I usually be sticking with the same jumpers all year. I don't too much notice that. But I'm also a very good shooter. So I don't know. My earlier post about wanting realistic field goal percent has been taken way out of context. We're not doing anything in the game to hold percents down or boost percents up to try to get real life numbers. That is that is cap. Okay. Within the game, when the time's winding down, everybody knows that people get a crazy boost. It's meant to cause some type of disruption in the emotion to make people more addicted to the game. Everyone knows this, bro. Like, everybody knows it's easier to shoot on bigger players than smaller players. Why is Zernick out here making threes with a 55 three-pointer? Why is that even possible? Why is he basically shooting like, you know? It seems like things are in place to nerf the better players that go on better positions to try to even out the game, right? The smaller builds, it's harder to shoot on a smaller build than a big guard build, even though the smaller build base has a bigger green window and you have way more badges. Doesn't make sense, man. Something's there. It's common sense. Even if you slow down that jump shot, you're still not going to hit as good as them other jump shots. It's not the goddamn, oh, he's longer. You can see it, but no, no. Because you have higher ratings, you have way more badges to make up for that difference, right? They probably do something more often with the speed up and slow down more often to hit guard players, even when they're wide open, to make sure to give them random releases to nerf them more. Bro, all type of stuff has happened. If you in deep, you in deep, you know. All decent players know this, bro. And y'all never make it real life numbers. Y'all just capping. That, that's all promotion anyways. But then he says, I was simply stating that the shot window size are tuned so that shot percentages hopefully play out in a realistic way. When people can make threes like layups, it leads to boring basketball. This is very true. But your casual base wants easy three. Then he says, but now that the green windows are pure, I can no longer use RNG to make shooting hit specific targets. So he's saying there's no RNG. He's always said there's no RNG. Then he's saying he can no longer use RNG to make shooting hit specific targets. So it seems like he's basically admitted that RNG existed. And now he's saying it don't exist. Hey, once a liar, always a liar, my boy. I don't, I don't, I don't believe in Mike Wayne. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Then he's saying it's in the total hands of the players. And unfortunately, most players are less consistent than math. He, he talking shit, right? So apparently, guys, j just just think about this. There's clearly a bug in the game. Think, think about it. Think, 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 think. They said they made shooting easier. They reduced latency but everybody is shooting way worse. You don't think with improved latency that everyone would shoot better. Really? Y'all really think that just because it's less delayed, people are missing more? Really, bro? You don't think people can adjust in that window? You think their percent's just gonna drop by 10? Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, bro. Weirdos are saying, put the latency. Bro, that's, it's not the, for y'all even to say that you're stupid. I don't care that you're joking, you're dumb. They tweak something with the game, my boy, okay? That they're not telling us, okay? Piss poor devs, they need to do better, okay, man? There needs to be a predictability to the game. It's okay if it's hard, but the predictability is not enough. We pay too much to not have predictability, bro. We be on our Dexter Laboratory shit. But now he says, now the big change that did happen with the last patch was a significant change to our online code to reduce latency. A lot of people have told me that they see more latency. I don't know how true this is. I've really just been grinding players. So y'all let me know if y'all are experiencing less or more latency. Then he says, I'm almost 100% sure that the difference in shooting that everybody's feeling and my theory for why the pros are feeling it much more than everyone else is because a lot of them have mastered their shot timing down to the millisecond. And when you've ingrained your button release timing after hundreds and hundreds of reps, maybe it's that much harder to adjust to the latency. Guys, y'all are buying this? Y'all think that, guys, I don't think y'all understand. These dudes don't go outside. They're roly polies, big titties, okay? 
or just super skinny, they don't go outside. A lot of them don't even have females. They play the game. They can adjust, bro. It's not the same shot, bro. First of all, they have to adjust their shot based off the speed ups and the slow downs also, right? They can adjust their shot. They switch their shots. They just don't stay with the same shot. They always try and adjust and they can catch on it quick, right? They're not just going to be down and out this long. They will change it and fix it. You know, they're not just going to sit with it, bro. You feel me? To really mess with people's intelligence not like that. It, the reason he's saying this is to create the war, right? So we can't really get changed. But, man, I, I, I'm not buying it, bro. Like, people aren't dumb. I'm telling you, dog. But then he says, and we're still actively analyzing our systems to make sure that the net code changes didn't introduce any in an unattended knock on problems in the shot system. But so far, everything seems to be working properly. Then look, he says another statement to create the war. OK, <laughs> this kind of feels like what we saw at launch when everybody was trying to adjust to the smaller green or miss windows and throwing up bricks. I'm pretty sure you guys will adjust and your shooting percents will be back to where they were last week. If I'm wrong and there's an actual bug somewhere, I'll definitely let you guys know. Hey, y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Now look, Zernik is tweeting out, 55 three balls, all you need to shoot open shots. On a popper, waste more attributes if you want. Now people might actually believe this. I, I think, you know, he's definitely trolling. But, I mean, he is hitting shots, okay? There are some clips, but people might believe this. Guys, don't do this. The worse you are, the higher your three ball needs to be, okay? Period. Now, I think, man, when, when builds have lower threes, they just make it to where they can shoot as good as a build with higher threes. It's very weird. But, look, this guy posts a clip. Because I don't play them anymore. Green. But, you feel me? Green. But see, Z never missed like that in the in the park. Green. But, nice. Hey, so who who knows? I mean, he's saying he never missed like that, so you're probably not getting back to back misses. Now look, just the fact that this is possible is kind of crazy, right? Look at this. And high speed. Isn't that just cool? Four for five from three. And high speed. Look at this. Y'all think this is a patch, guys? How is this possible when everyone's struggling to shoot? Just think about it. Y'all don't think there's no type of RNG that if you have like a lower three, like 2K helps you make the shot more? I think that's definitely the case, bro. To be honest. Now look, I know a lot of y'all see stuff like this and you think, damn, like maybe these guys are just so goaded or maybe this is the truth about the rating. Now look, listen, listen. Despite what y'all might think, Ticino only shoots like 56 from the three point. I don't even think y'all know that. I be getting so many comments like, oh, everyone's complaining, everyone's complaining, but I don't see Ticino complaining. Da -da 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 -da. Bro, Ticino don't even tweet. I don't even think y'all watch his streams. He be complaining all the time. He be missing all the time. Okay? And every 2K, he misses just because y'all see clips or videos that don't mean the dude don't miss. He misses all the time. Okay, he's just like every other top player, bro. He has a 56 three percent. Okay, that's pretty good. But how like y'all be talking about it? Y'all be saying like he's shooting 80 percent, and that's not the truth. Zernik, who knows what he's shooting? He could be shooting 40 or something, right? But y'all will see games like this in clips, and y'all will like y'all be like, man, they not well, missing. PG and Tali Taris. Y'all be like, they not missing. They not complaining. Right? I knew it when you get the same jump shots, jump shots as the midi. Good fight, Z. Nice. Look at that. When you have the same midi, like you get the your jump shot. I knew it was all about jump shots. He just faded from three with a 55 three pointer with takeover. That's crazy, bro. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about so this. Splash says floaters count as close shots or driving layups. 
Ticino says layup and you can green every floater with the 25 layup open. Increasing rating only matters for contested floaters and animation package. Now this is the, the finishing God himself, okay? That's all he does, does layups every year. Now he's more making a bunch of builds. He's spam making builds, guys. So, you know, just so y'all know, he's made like 20 builds, rebirthing them hoes. And a lot of them have no damn dunk or layup or nothing. So, hey, for y'all out there, when you wide open, I'm assuming you can you could green every floater. I seen some uh, clips of Laker fan doing floaters from the free throw line wide open. This is all true, bro. The game can get crazy. I don't, I don't think y'all understand, bro. Like, cause people be open, like, and you could. You know, that's basically an open fade. That, that, that that's like. I'm gonna put you on, bro. If you just do open floaters instead of like shooting the shot at the midi, bro, that means it's automatic. That means you basically have a think. Think about that. I don't think people are really getting it down or really understand, but it's kind of crazy. I don't know, man. Hey, y'all, click on my last video if you want to see all the damn patch notes, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.